Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland doing the second half of the case of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Four box break, random team number 14. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action. Really appreciate it. All teams are in. We combo some teams too. Orioles and Cubs, Cardinals and Nationals are comboed up. Let's randomize each list one and a three. Four times. Four times. One, four easy times. Two, three, and four. Oh, should always be low number dice rolls. Garza down to Nick Sostak. And then one and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. Simple as that. Astros down to Rays. All right, Garza, you got the Astros. Jared with the Mets. Chad, you got the Orioles and Cubs combo. Joe Johns with the Angels. Garza with the Cardinals Nationals combo. Indians for Calvin. Joe Johns with the Red Sox. Jeff, you got the Reds. Lee with the Diamondbacks. Anthony with the Royals. Brian Crouch with the Rockies. Darren McKenzie with the Giants. Joe with the Mariners. Uh, Joe Fagundis with the Mariners. Mike Koontz with the Phillies. Peter, you got the Blue Jays. Lee, you have the Pirates. V with the Twins. Alfonso with my Dodgers. Eric with the uh, Marlins. Arthur, you have the Braves. Lee Keller with the Padres. Nice. Uh, Rich with the Rangers and the White Sox. Brian with the A's. Eric with the Yankees. Lampros with the Brewers. Eric with the Last Spot Mojo. Tigers. And Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. For Nick Sostek. All right. So let's print this out. Uh, Reds for Jays. Peter, if you're interested in that. Yeah, if you want to make a trade, folks... Like uh, make an offer like Jeff did. I think that would uh, that would make uh, that would make it a little bit easier instead of just saying, "Hey, these teams are for trade." And Regicidal Lee is looking for the Braves. He's looking for the White Sox. He's looking for the Rays. These are Lee's teams right there. There's Lee Keller's teams. Yeah, Arthur is a Diamondbacks guy, so maybe he might go for that. And Joe Fagund is throwing out a uh, offer for Brian Crouch. Mariners for uh, A's. There you go. There it is, right there. And here are the. Uh, here are the boxes right here. I marked these RT14 so we know that they're from the same case. A lot of trade offers happening here, but I don't see a lot of trade confirmations. I don't really see anything happening here. All right, so I'm going to type TWC in the chat. Trade window closed. Sorry, guys. Let's get a move on. All right. Here we go. Random team 14. Good luck, everybody. Um, I posted another two half case breaks in the store, so you can see it right now. If you want to, if you missed out on this, you can get into the next. 1999, a spot, a 1999, a random team spot in a half case break, prospecting, looking towards the future for future stars. Just keep an eye on the 2017 MLB draft class. Those are the big names in here. Did I print that? I don't think I printed that list out. Remember, paper base does not ship. I think everyone knows that by the 14th break. Let's print out this list. There we go. Printing.
All right, now after this break, I don't think we have anything filled up, so I'm not sure what we're going to do after this. We could probably work on some more Upper Deck Black Hockey, which just dropped today. Totally Certified Basketball just dropped today. It looks like William Fulmer just got a spot in Totally Certified Basketball, as well as the Clippers in Prism Basketball. So we can do some hoops tonight, too. We can make this a really nice new release night. Well, I love this baseball, though, of course. I'm a big baseball fan, so I... I I really, I, I, I do enjoy the nerdiness of all these prospects and future prospects and whatnot. So, thanks everybody. All right, here we go. Once again, the paper doesn't ship, so we'll breeze by the paper. And we'll slow it down for the chrome. Obviously, parallels for paper will ship. 186 out of 250. Purple paper for the Purple Mountain's Majesty, Brian Crouch with the Rockies. That's Will Gaddis. We got Will Craig for the Pirates. 31 out of 399. That goes to Lee and the Pirates. Uh, no, we do not sell... We do not sell the base cards. Is this paper base? No, we uh, we usually end up donating them, or give you know we'll give like a stack of these to like some kids that come into the store. But no, we don't we don't sell these. We don't have time to sell paper base. We're too busy for that. <laughs> Lack Lothar, one hundred nine out of four ninety nine paper parallel for the O's. That'll be for Chad. Nick Sostak looking for some Brendan McKay. I wouldn't mind pulling another one of those. And Quinn Brody for the Mets. Blue Wave, Quinn Brody. Love the Wave parallels. Yeah, full disclosure, Lee's right. Full disclosure, there was a McKay insert auto out of 50 in the first half. Or out of 150, I think. 85 out of 150, Quinn Brody for the Mets. That'll be for Jared. There you go, Jared. I know, right now I hit the Mets color. Lee's, <laughs> it's kind of Lee's thing, collecting Mets. Had them last time. All right. Well, maybe Jared will sell it to you. Alex Lange out of 499. Well, I hope we do hit another Brendan McKay. It could be a Brendan McKay hot case. Alex Lange, paper for the Cubs. Chad with that one. Uh-oh. Behind, behind my boy Gavin Lux, orange, Adam Hall. I, I, always, I always like when the parallel... Matches the color of the team. Nice. 7 out of 25 on that orange. Orioles, Chad. There's Newman right here. Newman. Yeah, uh, DeSwarm is here. That's Jared. He'd be willing to move that, that Quinn Brody. Yeah, that is the best when it's the same color as the team. I don't. Does that do any better on a secondary market? I feel like it, I feel like no, but <laughs> but I feel like it, it would make a big deal. It would make a bit of a difference for me. There's Joe Perez for the Astros. Garza with the Astros. There's the paper, there's the chrome, and there's the next autograph. Jeter Downs for the Reds. Jeff Goldenthal with the Reds. There you go, Jeff. 
We have Jeff in the chat too. First time in the chat, but he's been buying for a little bit. Thanks, Jeff. 49 out of 4.99 for the 32nd overall pick, late first round pick. I think he was a. I'm trying to think. I think he was in the compensatory round, wasn't he? No, he was in the competitive balance round, round A. I can never. There's so many layers in the in baseball drafts, but there we go. He was in competitive balance round A. 32nd overall. And Cade McClure. No relation to Troy McClure. That goes to the White Sox. That'll be for Rich and the White Sox. Sixth round pick. Is that a bonus? It is. One, two, three, four. There's the bonus autograph. Paul T. was saying earlier, there seems to be at least one box per case that has a bonus auto in there. So that was that box. Blue paper, Alex Schreff. 22 out of 150. Red Sox, that'll be for Joseph Johns. regular paper and Nick Solak at a 250 180 out of 250 for the Yankees that'll go to Eric EA Sports in the game <laughs> Every time I see this card, Nick Sostak, I th every time I see Nick Solak's card, I think of our longtime customer, Nick Sostak. 180 out of 250. Uh, Arthur may be behind a little bit. He's asking if he missed the break. No, we're just in box one of the break. Just finished box one of the break. Here's box two. <laughs> Doesn't it right? Nick, you should you should get you should get Solax jersey and just write on the back of it, just change it into Sostag. So it reminds me of you every every time for some reason. Alright, second box. Yeah, and Arthur, you have the Braves. You got randomized the Braves in this break, by the way. Oh, we can't do a trade midstream, though, by the way. Sorry. It's most it's mostly for just later on down the road. If I do it now, you know, then I then I then I have to do it for every other break. And I'll be like, oh, you you did it for Lee and Arthur. Oh, because they're regulars, you do it for them, not for us. In this other random break, and then and then it just evolves into that. AJ Puckett out of three ninety nine. I can't wait for the uh, for the headline, uh, White Sox. Rich, by the way, I can't wait for the the future headline. White Sox say Puckett. Can't wait for that headline. Someday, if someone ever sees that headline, please please clip the newspaper or send me the link. No one clips newspapers anymore. 
Yeah, yeah. Send me the newspaper clipping of that. Just send me the link. White Sox say pocket and call up AJ. Zach Lothar is your autograph. Out of this box, that goes to the Orioles-Cubs combo. That'll be for Chad. When's he going to get called up? He's a 16, 2016 pick. Is he out of college? Maybe not. Well, we'll see. Someday. Jacob Gonzalez is your paper par uh, parallel, 19 out of 499. For the Giants, that'll be for Darren McKenzie. Purple paper, purple, no, not purple paper, purple chrome, 108 out of 250. Carl Stajuhar. For the mess, that'll be parallel for Jared. This is all paper. More paper here. Is that going to be a gold autograph? Usually the autograph is behind cards like this. It is. Evan White for the Mariners. That is strong. Who has Seattle? Joe Fagundis. There you go, Joe F. Nice Evan White. 13 out of 50 for the 17th overall pick in 2017. I think that's just a little thing in the, in the photo right there. That is nice. Gabe in the house as well. What up, Gabe? Evan White from uh, from Kentucky. That's where he went to college. So might see him sooner rather than later. He's a player out of college. We'll usually see those guys a little bit sooner. And the high school kids. Adonis Medina for the Phillies. 158 out of 399 for the Phils. That's Mike Koontz. Taylor Trammell. I don't think any relation to Alan Trammell. Purple can't do colors anymore. Green paper, 4 out of 99. Green paper for the Friars, Lee Keller with Luis Capusano. And Lincoln Hensman is the White Sox auto. That's the third auto of this box. Rich with the White Sox. There's another refractor for Luis. And Brendan Rodgers for the Rockies. 30 out of 200, your 70th anniversary blue chrome parallel. Brian Crouch and the Rocks. Nice Brendan Rodgers. Are we going to see Brendan Rodgers somewhat regularly next season, this upcoming season? I feel like he's, it's about his time, right? Third overall pick in 2015. Yeah, I feel I feel like he should be 
I feel like you should start getting some regular playing time somewhat soon. All right, two boxes. Two boxes to go. We are halfway through this half case break. This is random team break number 14. Second half of the case. We've got another two half case breaks in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com. 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 Oh, right. They, so, oh, because Story, that's right. Trevor Story blew up. And then Ian Desmond, so they're a little clogged there. Can he, can he play other positions? They move like, I don't know, the Rockies I'm sure will be busy in the offseason. They might get some work done. Williams asking, what do I think about Stan to the Yankees? I think that was a great move. So Stan, Giancarlo Stan to the Yankees. Fantastic move by the Yankees. I don't think it was a good, good move by the Marlins, though. I feel like, where's my coffee? I feel like the Marlins could have gotten more. That's right, I was making some, some tea. Um, I feel like the Marlins could have gotten more, and I'm not sure what they're doing down there in Florida, but but hey, good move for the Yankees. Gliber Torres, speaking of the Yankees, there's Gliber Torres. Green Chrome for the Yankees, 87 out of 99. See, here's the problem with 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 uh, with the Yankees, is that I can't really criticize the Yankees too much because I'm a Dodgers fan. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm sure that I'm sure the Dodgers will someday make, you know, crazy big payroll moves and stuff like that. It'd be hypocritical if I if I criticize the Yankees for doing stuff like that. Uh, six out of twenty-five orange paper for the tribe. That'll go to Calvin. That's Ernie Clement. Yeah, a lot of home run hitters, saying Alyssa for the uh, for the Yankees. I mean that that's where the league is trending, right? Got to have home run hitting. Got to have some power hitting. Otherwise, you're not going to go very far. With launch angles and all that stuff, everyone's it's like it's like it's like basketball and three pointers, you know. So like guard, like small small lineups, guard play, a lot of threes. So in 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 the way basketball has changed over the years, over the recent years, it looks like baseball is trending towards that power area. Uh, there's Quinton Holmes for the Indians. That'll go to Calvin. Nice refractor auto out of 499, 119 out of 499. And so that's why teams like the Cardinals, teams like the San Francisco Giants, Boston Red Sox, they're they're really looking to upgrade the power on their on their respective clubs. Purple paper, Corey Abbott for Chad. That is out of 250. Yeah, for my Dodgers though, I think for now they're act they're at least trying to reset the uh, the luxury tax. 
So I don't think they want to do the luxury tax again. I think they're going to be try to cut payroll just to get under the luxury tax for at least a year, which would reset the luxury tax um, penalties. Peter Alonzo out of 399 for the Mets. That'll be for Jared. So yeah, they yeah they'd love to they'd love to trade. They would love to trade um, Adrian Gonzalez, but he has a no trade clause in his big contract. So I think Dodgers just hoping that he'll be healthy this season and can contribute. They would love to get rid of Scott Casimir and Brandon McCarthy's contract. Uh, I don't know who's going to take that though. But yeah, they would they would love to move for at least even a bag of chips, says Gabriel. Yes, I would do that just to get that contract off the book. We'll take we'll take a bag of chips. Who needs starting pitching? The Twins need starting pitching, right? Twins, Minnesota, if you're listening, we will trade you Scott Casimir and Brandon McCarthy as long as you eat their contracts. We will take a couple bags of chips, barbecue or sour cream and onion. Jacob Pearson, orange, chrome, autograph, nice. Two out of 25 for the Angels. Joseph Johns with the Angels. So as long as you take their contracts, Minnesota. Two out of 25, we'll take a, we'll take a bag of chips. Gabriel says, even a, even a cup of noodles for Scott Casimir. And we'll take one of those small bags of chips too, like the ones you get at like Subway. We're not even talking about like a big family size bag of chips. Alex Fiedo at a four ninety nine. And Scott and Brandon, if you're listening, no disrespect to you guys, but just our, the front office just paid way too much. I mean you you guys fairly negotiated that deal. You know, it's not your fault. But that's just the way the business of baseball, that's the way it goes. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. 28 out of 150. That goes to the Redbirds and the Nationals combo. Garza with that one. And Brian Miller for the Marlins. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, now that the Marlins are pretty much gutting their team, maybe guys like Brian Miller, who's a 36th overall pick, will find. Uh, we'll see that he he's from a he's a college player too, North Carolina. There you go, a walk on North. Maybe we'll start seeing him in the majors a lot sooner than a lot of other players. So that's the that's the good thing about the Marlins gutting their team. You can see Brian Miller sooner. And that's that for this box. Last box coming up. Mr. S uh, or Calvin, I do, I don't remember actually. I'm sure there. I feel like I've heard that story before. A player that was traded for a bag of baseballs. Cal Miner, what's going on? Yeah, I'd let Lee. I can't wait to see Lee, Lee's like Marlins trying to be the worst team in baseball in 2018. Although they will get a number one pick. Then. I wonder what Vegas, what Vegas will say about the the win total, over under on win total for the Marlins. Where do you think they'll set that? I don't know what what who's. What's the record for losses? I mean, Jared, Jared says 47 and a half. That's actually a pretty good win total. Is that, a, is that an actual line? That's a pretty good win total, 47 and a half. I take over on that, but I won't be surprised if they go under. Um, 60, that's a pretty good one. 50, 59 and a half, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, so like 59 and a half. That's actually pretty good. Or 60. 
that's a, that's a hundred losses right there. So a little over. I know, right, Gabriel? Gabriel's like, watch to be a wild card team. See, that would be hilarious. Without without D Gordon, without Ozuna who went to the Cardinals today, without Giancarlo Stanton. Watch the Marlins with with their like triple A team actually somehow make it to become the wild card team. Alright, here's the last box, folks. Good luck. All right, so we'll breeze through the paper, of course. There's the chrome. <laughs> Gabriel's like, hey, I, I, I'd, pu I'd put 20 bucks on the Marlins making the playoffs if he, had, if he got good odds. I'm sure you would get some pretty decent odds. Ariel Huardo with uh, the Rangers out of 399. That'll be for Rich. Right, it'd be like a major league situation. They'll try to lose, but somehow they'll find like Willie Mays Hayes, Ricky Vaughn. <laughs> this guy's dead. Cross him off then. Most of these guys never had a prime. Evan White, another Evan White autograph for the Mariners. Joe Fagundis, nice. Oh, so Jared DeSwamp saying 64 and a half was the lowest heading into 2017 as the Padres. Yeah, I, th I think the Marlins may have... Vegas might set the Marlins at the lowest win total right there. Going into next season. Riley Mahan out of 499 for the Marlins. That'll go to Eric. I feel like this this looked a little different for some reason, but it's just a regular refractor. paper and we've got Nick Sostak I mean Solak 174 out of 200 for the Yankees that'll go to EA Sports it's in the game Paper. Still looking for two autographs. Maybe here's the second one. No. Isan Diaz. Oh, there is the second autograph right there. It's a Blue Jay. Diaz goes to the Brewers. That'll be for Lampros out of 150. The Blue Jays auto goes to Peter Ang. That's Casey Clemens. There you are. Looking for one more autograph. Uh, no worries, Joe Johns. You're welcome for that orange auto. Um, you think Jeter will play Ichiro more? I mean, I guess. Is Jeter... See, here's the thing. Is, is Derek Jeter actually running the day-to-day -day operations of that team, or is he not? He didn't show up at the winter meetings. He went to the Monday Night Football game instead. And I, as far as I know, he hasn't shown up at the winter meetings yet. So I don't know what – is he actually in charge of day-to-day -day operations or is he not? At a three, or is he just a figurehead like, like Magic Johnson on the Dodgers or like he was on the Dodgers before he got involved with the Lakers front office? Uh, that's David Thompson for the Mets. That will be for Jared. That's DeSwam. Jared's doing some research for me here. He says Astros were at 59 and a half heading into 2013. That's the lowest uh, win total, Vegas win total that he's found so far. 
and that was for 2013. Yeah, I think the Marlins might have the lowest going into next season once all that's set. 85 out of 250, Luis Gonzalez for the White Sox, purple paper. For Rich, still looking for one more autograph, right? Yeah, still looking for one more auto. Is this it? Behind Will Benson, who's a good prospect as well. Brian Miller for the Marlins. And that is another one for EA Sports. It's in the game. This time, Purple Chrome. 132 out of 250. Your 36th overall pick. And the last bit here, any parallels? Maybe another purple. And that's Dylan Cease and Desist out of 250. Dylan Cease and Desist going to Rich with the White Sox. And there you have it, folks. That's it. A couple chromes and some paper. And that was Bowman Draft Baseball, number 14, Random Team 14, second half of the case on the 13th, a Wednesday. Jaspieshobbyland.com has more, so go over there, check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.